Hey guys, today I have the Allure Beauty Box, and this is the one from the month of May. I just came home from a little staycation. We were staying at one of the Disney resorts, and I came home, and this is on the counter, thanks to my neighbors. Shout out to them for taking care of my dog for these days. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this. I just took off the little tab on the bottom so I haven't peeked in. And as always, you get the little magazine that says everything that's in here. Here they only stay like the full size of the prices, so you know, it's kind of hard to say how much the value of the box is worth, but I do pay $15 a month and it comes in a little orange bag this month. Uh, this month, it doesn't have the little gold tabs on here. So this one just, just kind of like, oh, it just kind of slips in and out. So it slips in and out like that. It doesn't have the little tabs on the front. And there's something actually outside of here. There's a Hello Fresh little card for a $60 gift card. And then I have here, a Laritzi Cosmetics Lip Gloss. So I've never heard of this brand. I think that this is a full size product because it looks like it. And the shade is the color Vibe. This looks very pretty. It looks like a very beautiful nude. And that's what it looks like. Well, that's pretty. And it has like a, like a, I don't know, like a cake or vanilla scent to it. I had the Fenty Gloss Balm on, so I'm just putting this on top. It's not super pigmented, but it just gives like a light hint of color, which I really, really love. And I've really been into glosses lately, so that is super comfortable. So let me see where or how much this little product is worth. This is worth $20, and this is a pale pinkish nude that has a 60s vibe is what is the, it says right there so that is that that's twenty dollars so that itself just pays for the box and then next thing in here that i'm going to just pop out is the saint tropez self tan purity this is a natural glowing skin bronzing water face mist i don't know how i feel about this um it's supposed to like i guess tan your skin but I've never used anything like this, so let me know if you guys have used this before and what you guys think. This is just like a mini one. The full size is $30, so I guess some people are gonna get the water gel and then some people are getting the little mist. So it goes on, it says as a super fine mist, hydrates your skin, and then you're supposed to like just wake up tan. So I don't know how I feel about this. I might try it out on my arm or something. Let me see what it smells like or sprays. Okay, it's a very fine mist. And it has like a really nice coconut kind of smell. Um, so I'm really surprised because most tans, you know, have that icky kind of weird smell to them. So that at least smells good. So might try that out. I don't know, hopefully it won't like, I won't look weird. At least I'm on vacation right now, so. If I try it, then and if it goes wrong, then I won't. <laughs> I won't look like a freak. I can just stay indoors a little bit longer. Uh, next thing in here is the Eye Lights Model Co Metallic Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Saint Bart's. So let's. Oh, this is a beautiful color. Oh, this is kind of like a very summery vibe box. I like this. So let me go ahead and just swatch it. It seems kind of chunky though. Okay, so there it is. We'll definitely have to play around with this on my eyes. Let me just see if I can apply a little bit. All I have is mascara on, so it feels super sticky. It dries super fast, so you really don't have time to play with it. So I don't know if I really like this formula because it dries so fast. Like I'm just even applying it and by the time I go in with my finger to kind of smudge it out, it's already dry. So this is kind of turning into a try on, a mini try on. I usually don't do try ons with these boxes because I never know what's gonna be in here. I, but hey, if you guys like for me to try it on, I know a lot of you guys like try-ons more just so you guys can see the products sometimes i can and sometimes i can't right now i'm kind of like in a hurry because my little kiddo is doing his little nap um but yeah this hardly doesn't look pigmented on the eye at all it just kind of gives like a little 
small wash. I'm not really liking the formula. It dries super fast and I think that you'd have to really build it up. And just by swatching it here, the way it came out is like a really, really chunky. So next thing in here is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. I can already tell you guys that I love this. I have tried this previously. Uh, this is just very, very super hydrating. And it's a nice little sample size. This is for normal to dry skin and my skin. And you know, holding up against the light, it's only filled halfway, which totally sucks. Hopefully that's still 0.2 fluid ounces, <laughs> but it's only filled to like right here. Uh, but this is super moisturizing and just gives like a splash of water to your face. So I really enjoy that. And that's just a mini size. And then next is the Amore Pacific Youth Revolution Radiance Cream and Mask. And this I have never tried. I do like Amore Pacific stuff. And this is what it looks like. And... Okay, so that's, this is very different packaging. So it smells really nice. Just kind of has like a fresh, nice smell to it. Um, and this, I guess, is, oh, it's a sleeping mask. So you put this to go to sleep. So it's supposed to help from environmental and give a youthful radiance. It's supposed to moisturize the skin. So definitely it will be playing around and trying things trying that out and see how I like that and that one also is a little mini size so I think the lip gloss is the only full size oh wait I have one more product and it's this so I'm thinking that this is a full size yeah this is a full size this is $15 this is Lou by Jean Sale it's called erase it's in a cleansing exfoliating and brightening powder so you're supposed to mix this with a half a teaspoon or tablespoon of water to form a paste. And then you're supposed to apply it to your face, let it dry for a minute, and then while it's still damp, like massage it away. So it's supposed, it says it's supposed to erase your skin, takes blackheads out, reduces large pores. Um, and then you're supposed to use once to twice a week. So I don't know how I feel about this. It's like a, basically like a dry cleanser. Uh, I know that Tatcha is known for theirs and um, I don't know, I've never been drawn to that. So let me know what you guys think of this. I don't, I don't know, are you guys into dry cleansers like that? So that is everything in this month's box. I have to say the things that I like the most are basically these three, like the Laneige, the More Pacific, and the lip gloss. Uh, the glow spray tan thing, I'll have to see how this works. And then this, I don't know, I'm just like, eh, I would have preferred something else. And then the uh, eyeshadow, just, I don't know. I'm not really that impressed just by what I kind of played with on my eyes not my cup of tea. So that is it for my May box. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys got a different variation of the box. They never say here um, what variation I get or anything, so I can't tell you guys, but they do show, you know, other options that they give basically. So I know that there are variations of the boxes, but you know, it, it just varies from person to person, I guess, depending on your quiz or Ah, who knows? Anyway, so that is it for this month's box. Let me know what you guys think down below. What are you looking forward to? What are you not looking forward to? I'd love to hear back from you guys. As always, you are more than welcome to follow me on my social media down below. I have an Instagram. I have a Disney Instagram. And I think those are my only two social medias, to be honest. And then um, if you want to keep watching my videos, hit that little red button, subscribe to my channel, and be part of my little family. I do more unboxings than anything else. That's what I'm gravitating to more nowadays. So if you're interested in different kind of unboxings, then this is the channel for you. And every now and then I do put in get ready with me's and things like that, but I'm more into unboxings now and I think it's easier for me to record with my son and I'm just blabbing on and on. So yeah, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.